Hi everybody, welcome to my channel for a new tournament introduction. So this is like I usually did for the last part of tournament. I'm going to do first the introduction video. After that, the couple of practice game that I played before WTC. And then after that, the battle report of WTC. I think it's much better instead of what I was doing before, meaning doing practice game battle report first, then tournament introduction, but uh, you already see the list, a couple of games, so it doesn't mean the same to explain you again the list. So I thought I might as well just explain you the list and information regarding WTC before, and then after that show you practice game and then the battle report. So I hope it's fine for you. Uh, maybe about the funny cover that I put on the video, something that our captain uh, Xavier did before the event, so basically this is me, this m means in English Air Force is not ready, so Air Force is not really in Air Force anymore, I need to, to tell that to my captain, it's melee, but uh, yeah, it was just meant to be, to be, he did that to be funny with all the faces of all eight, eight players from our team, uh, I found that quite funny, so I decided to to show it here, uh, basically who are our player in the team? We are a five member of last year ATC team, so there is obviously myself, uh, Andy, um, it's, it's nice to be on a female body, <laughs> so we have Andy, Xavier, our captain, Coco and Dim over there, and then we have three former ATC Switzerland players, we have Pulps, uh, Aurelien and uh, Thomas. So this is our team for this year, WTC Switzerland 1. Couple of information on the tournament. So this is eight player per team, as you understood. So very similar to w to ETC, and I think this is, in my opinion, the best type of warm up for ETC that you can do, like four months before ETC, with competitive teams from a lot of countries in Europe. So this is definitely going to be very interesting as a test to see how you are, how ready you are for the summer and so on. National teams. Uh, similar restriction to ETC, max 2 mercs are authorized, 4500 points armies with tournament rules and uh, slight exception to what we do usually supplement armies and supplement army books are valid, so not the same, I think there is a vote at the moment for ETC this year, but last year it wasn't authorized, basically the supplement giant for example or obgoblin stuff like that weren't authorized. And here, in this case, uh, Fred, the organizer, decided to orga to allow them. Yeah, understand. Uh, I think there are both pro and against uh, argument for that. Uh, no need to debate that. Uh, I think it's uh, it's, it's free as an organizer to decide that. As you can see, eight team, eight player per team, and twenty teams makes a lot of tables. So here you can see the organization between uh, three rooms. I think it's quite cool to see that the row number one has an independent uh, room for themselves to be uh, yeah, all together, will be a cool feeling and then we have row 2, 3 and the rest in the big room. So interesting, yeah, looking forward to see all these rows, all these tables, all these players, all these miniatures, it's definitely going to be uh, an highlight of the year. And then another aspect is, that's not the thing that I wanted to show you, it's the other table, because basically it put in advance what kind of secondary objective we play, there is four of secondary objective that we play each round, meaning it's defined in advance. So it's for example, game one and two play capture the fly, flag, game uh, three and four play all the ground and so on. And then you have also the table that are fixed with deployments. So for me, not a problem at all because we have all of them. So with the random during the weekend, you shouldn't play every time the same type of deployment and table. So this is perfectly fine for me. What personally I don't like is the predefined secondary objective. I will explain why. If you have a look at secondary objective when building your list, you see that capture the flag is huge for the balance of the list. And in this case, you could basically put a high amount of scoring in your list. If you have to play all scenario, like it's the case at ETC, for example, last year, it's everybody plays the same type of secondary objective each round. So you know that at some point you're going to play captured flag and if you have 20 flags at some point you're going to lose a secondary like automatically. So you have to keep that in mind somehow that one of your game might be more difficult if you have too many scoring units. In this case, you could potentially spam completely the number of flags of scoring units and then just avoid captured flag in five games. Because basically in each round you can you have three other secondary objectives that you could 
play on. So basically, it is not impossible to avoid completely capture the flag if you want to. Which personally, in my mind, th that's how it was. A couple of years ago, I can remember that our dwarf player, Paul, had like an ETC where he played like uh, three or four games on breakthrough because he had like dwarfs with a lot of miners and it was his favorite scenario. So he was very happy about that. But I think for the balance of the list, it's for me, it's much, much better when everybody plays the same secondary objective because the lists are going to be, have to be more balanced. They cannot focus to say, I'm super strong on old ground uh, and super strong on king of the hill or I think break, maybe flag is the most extreme and um, yeah type of example that you can really visualize is the fact that if you want to avoid it because you have too many flags, then you can avoid it. And in my mind, I prefer much more the other alternative uh, like we, we everybody plays the same one. I think it's much better for the balance of the list and meaning more balanced list means more interesting game as well, in my opinion. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm... Uh, yeah, feel free to, to argue if you have other opinion. I think everybody has his own opinion. There are probably some good arguments why he decided to do that. Um, it's quite cool maybe to, to have this additional component to take into account during the pairing process, making the pairing harder, rating of the matchup as well, because you have to take into account when you put the rating of the matchup. Am I going to... Yeah, it's, it's a huge difference sometimes between a breakthrough avoidance or old ground, for example. So you cannot say, okay, I'm going to win 11. Uh, it's completely different between these two. So maybe he wanted to bring this additional factor. I can see that. But in my opinion, it would be better the other way around. But that's just my opinion. It's And, and it's also a detail. It's no big, uh, big, big deal. On my list... So I did like I usually did a small video of the miniatures. So I'm bringing back my old miniatures. Why? Because I'm taking a plane and I'm getting nervous to fly with my beautiful Ogre Khan pirate army. So I prefer to bring ba back the old miniatures. And yeah, I love vintage uh, GW. <laughs> Not that old because Ogre Kingdom were an old army on GW. But yeah, it just bring me back to memories when I painted them. They were my first army so it's always nice to bring them back sometimes out of the shells so basically it's more or less the same army that i played at bellum lacum i wanted to try them out in a meta where we are team of eight and not team of four just to see how good or viable is this list i'm quite uh, convinced by the fact that this list is solid enough enough and also uh, suits me well so i wanted to try out to see how it goes at wtc but basically what i changed from Bellum Lacum is with, with the couple of points that I won, I was able to fit a standard with Banner of Discipline on one of my darts in core. I didn't want to take uh, some musician, I prefer to have one scoring that could be independent. I saw that in most of my game, my games, I uh, would have liked to have an independent scoring that would be fine on their own leadership, and I think now it's the case. So I felt that was, um, yeah, helpful. And then what I change, I put another a standard and another header icon on the Merc Vets to have MR3, which is much better. And I had five points left to put a Nog crossbow on my Great Can. That's basically it. The rest didn't move at all. It's the same list. So I'm looking forward to see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think the I'm still quite happy about how some unit in the army looks like. Obviously, it's not perfect. It's not. I didn't spend a lot of time to paint them, but the Mergvert still look cool and quite beefy. The character look cool. Uh, the only thing that annoys me a little bit is the fact that the giant is not looking the same as the rest because it was borrowed from my other army. Because I didn't have at at the time the giant weren't ma mainstream, so I didn't had a giant model to fit with this army but yeah it's not a big deal at least i have a model to represent we have the round one pairing um here shown so interesting for us we got denmark um what looks like to be the team number one i guess since i recognize some of the etc uh, player from last year but what i felt when i look at all the teams i don't think there is a full etc team in any of the country i guess I think most of the teams are in a similar case to us, basically, that not all the ETC players are available and therefore you need to have some replacement. But I'm sure that we will have some very strong team here with a couple of countries represented here, which is nice because it's a good occasion to yeah, basically face 
some meta, some players that you are not so used to. And I think it's um, it was, that's the way I see it, a unique occasion to train for ETC and be ready for the summer. Uh, in my opinion, I didn't see a huge clash of two favorites for the event at round one, to be honest. Um, yeah, and then some conclusion on that. So like I wrote on the forum, I've been playing three training games before WTC. That's my training approach for this year. At least what I'm doing at the moment is before every big event, I'm doing two to three training game uh, because I'm not playing a lot uh, live tournament. So I'm just be basically planning some training games each time on the matchup that I want to try the most basically configuration that might be problematic a matchup where i have doubts about the game plan that i should do and stuff like that so what i picked this time uh, i picked a vs army that was playing with tunnels a lot of beef on the table a doom blade on spoil of war i thought combination between tunnel and spoil of war could be very problematic to face because if you can pop scoring unit on spoil of war it could be very hard to to deal with so i wanted to try that out to see what is the potential of that and then kiori uh, i propose him to play on a good old old ground because basically you're sure that you're going to clash and you cannot avoid each other um he had a list that i was eager to face because yeah a couple of uh, strong character build uh, some flying minis, some cavalry peasants, so definitely also very interesting to do. And the last one was live on the table against my uh, good opponent, Lishmeister, playing his good old VC. Uh, he was he has a very solid list, like with four pieces of chaff, two times eight cast, a chariot, um, wind reapers, strong magic. So definitely not an easy list to break. Also wanted to see if my uh, striking potential was good enough to engage in combat safely and get some heavy points and we decided to play again all the ground because it ensures that there is a clash in the middle of the board. So that's the three training games that you're going to see as battle report on my channel soon and then after that obviously the five uh, tournament game from WTC and at the end a conclusion video. Also what I'm trying to do I don't know yet if it's going to be in French or in English but some maybe short live video from the tournament would be cool. Uh, I personally love it when other YouTubers do stuff like that short video to just show us the room show us the atmosphere i feel like i was there so i would definitely like to do something like that i don't know exactly on which channel if the wi-fi will be good enough i hope so since the location is good should be okay should, shouldn't be a problem but uh, definitely i will try to do something about that so that's it guys um i hope you liked the introduction video and i'm really excited to show you the other battle report and to exchange with you about what happened in the battle report and stuff like that and also obviously very excited to go to this wtc that is going to be amazing because it's organized by fred and it, when fred organizes something like that you know that's going to be a, a great event it's, it's always going to be a success so really looking forward to to meet also some of the followers there would be really cool so don't hesitate if you have uh, if you are going to be there and you just see me yeah don't hesitate to, to drop by and just say hi it would be really i would be really happy to to have a chat uh, if i have time don't hesitate to come to me because i'm very focused during the event so i'm not really looking who is everywhere but don't hesitate if you want to just have a quick chat don't hesitate to come to me i would be really happy to just exchange a couple of words thanks a lot guys for watching this video i'm looking forward to show you the rest Bye -bye.